Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got another how-to DIY for you today. In this case, have one of these old fluorescent bulbs in the kitchen. Um, all the bulbs stopped working at once, so I know the ballasts are bad. Um, so I'm gonna convert it to LED. Um, replacement ballasts are kind of expensive, and I didn't want to mess with that. I'd just rather get rid of them and have LED bulbs, which are nicer, and plus they don't make a lot of fluorescent bulbs like this anymore. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get started with converting this to ballast bypass LED bulbs. Alright, get her open. The fluorescent bulbs are already out. So in my case there was only two fluorescent bulbs in here. They both died at the same time so I know the ballast is dead. And we actually bought... My wife picked up LED direct replacements, which require a working ballast. Um, I looked at ballast prices, they're kind of expensive now. Even the cheaper China ones on like Amazon and eBay are like 40 bucks. Nicer ones are 70 plus digital ones. So I'm just gonna remove it and bypass it. And then I picked up ballast bypass bulbs, which can allow you to direct wire. So I'm gonna have to cut the ballast out of there and wire it up. So let's go ahead and knock that out, show you how to do that. All right, now that we got it open, uh, there's this center section that just clips in with a couple clips. That's where the ballast is hiding, so we'll go ahead and pull that off. And first indication that you have a bad ballast. It's leaking the ballast material out. That's what this black goo is. You can see it on the wire. It's leaking out of this one, which this one looks to be an original, looks older. This one looks like it was replaced at some point. It's a quick start, newer one. Still pretty old. Uh, that's a 30 year old house. So uh, first part I'm gonna do is secure power, verify it's all dead, and then we'll go ahead and remove the two ballasts that are in here. And for the verifying dead, you can use a multimeter or a little tester. I like to use these. They're quicker and easier. So we're live. Let's go ahead and cut the switch off. We're dead everywhere, but to be extra safe, I'm gonna go shut the breaker off as well. All right, we're completely dead. Um, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect all the wiring. Looks like we got wire coming in both sides. I'm gonna remove all these wire nuts uh, and move all the wires back out of the way, see what we got. All right, I have all the wiring disconnected. Um, so this is the hot and neutral coming in and it's grounded there. So that's the power coming into the whole light fixture. Um, looks like they were, so the wires on this one are shorter because it's closer to the power supply and this one are longer. So I'm gonna try to reuse some of that wire if I need it. So I'm just gonna snip all the wires off this one first. Um, actually, just go ahead and do that. Snip them as close as I can. Probably be easier. And be careful removing these. They're, they're heavier than they look. I almost dropped it on my face. <laughs> so uh, I just went ahead and removed the other ballast just like I did on the other one. That one I didn't have to cut any wires because they were already shorter. Um, but I have red, blue, and yellow is going to each side as you can see. Um, but essentially what you need to do, so you got um, hot and neutral. Hot needs to go to one side and neutral to the other side. It doesn't matter what side, because these uh, LEDs I got are bi pin so you can send hot and neutral to either side. So basically I just need to connect a set of wires to each side. Unfortunately my yellows from this side are not close enough to reach, so I'm gonna reuse some of the yellows on this side, cut them a little shorter, get some crimp connectors to make this a little longer and wire this up real quick. And again on these ballast bypass LED replacement bulbs uh, just some simple directions on the side of how to remove the bulbs um, but it tells you when you remove the bypass this little step right here a um, little schematic showing you load or hot or power going to one side and then neutral to the other side so that's all I'm gonna do see how it works. 
All right, so since I need to extend these yellow wires, uh, I already did one just using a 16 gauge butt splice. Um, I'm just crimping them on. I did my butt splices here to extend these yellows. Um, just, you know, connected them, made, tugged on them, made sure they were tight. And then I hooked the yellows into the neutral. I think what I'm gonna do is try all these reds and blues into the black. So I'm gonna put the wire nut of all of these on there. Leave the yellow ones out for now and see if put the two bulbs in, see if it works, see what we got. All right, I just want to be clear. So these aren't the bipan style I thought, which most um, ballast bypass are. On a bipan, it means one pin's hot and one pin's neutral, and you can intermix them. On this one, I noticed once L is load, so that's the power side, and then the other side it has an N. For neutral and then there is another little schematic here that shows an L and, a, and an N so I'm going to make sure I put the neutral side on the side where I put the um, yellows going to my white neutral wire which will be this side so the ends will go in on that side right now I just have two of the red wires I'm not sure which is which multiple bulb sockets as you can see some of them are broke so there was only two working bulbs in here because two of the four, um, the sockets are broke, which is fine. I only had two bulbs before. And um, this is a temp fix until, you know, eventually this whole lighting fixture gets replaced. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and fit the bulbs in, see if it works. All right, woo. <clears throat> so it turns out I put it, the other one in the wrong socket. That's why it wasn't working. Uh, I did hook those other blue and red powers up. I'll leave them connected. I'm just gonna take the old, uh, wire nuts I had um, and put them on all these unused wires just in you know, good measure. Uh, push all this back up and then put the center plate back on to hold it. So I'll do that real quick, but it looks like we're good. All right, so we're fully back installed. I was playing with the uh, color temperatures just a little bit, just so you can see the difference. But there's 6,000K. It has like a bluish hint, 5,000 daylight, 4,500, and then 3,000, which is yellow. So you can see how quickly it changes colors. But I want 5,000K right there for mine. And that's it. Uh, and here we are with the cover back on. Is that bright enough for you? Yes. <laughs> All right, so wife approves. So not bad. Um, the bulbs were 15 bucks, those LED replacement bulbs. Granted, it's two. It would have been a little more for a four pack, but we only had two before. And as you can see, the light on my face, <laughs> I know you didn't see the fluorescent bulbs before the ballast eyes, but it's way bright in here at 5,000. We might play with the color temperature a little bit. Um, <laughs> but just those two bulbs, and they're only 18 watts. Um, put out a ton of light for this kitchen, and we're back in action. So, all right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. All right, bye.